Now we're continuing on with balanced and unbalanced forces. All right, we've got to remember that force is going to be something as simple as a push or pull of an object. All right, we also have mentioned that there are two types of forces. These are coming from um, the changes of, of energy, potential and kinetic energy. Meaning, uh, remember we had that gravitational energy, uh, thinking about that roller coaster or that apple that's on the tree. That apple on the tree is gravitational energy. Once it falls and it starts to move to the ground, it is transformed from pot gravitational potential energy. It moves over or transforms over to mechanical kinetic energy. All right. So we're looking at that movement. That's that force. All right. So you've got this handout here. Looks similar to the one I've got here posted. And we're going to fill in the missing information. All right. So there's going to be some extra information that's not written. I would definitely write it down. Remember, you can pause the video. You can rewind it. Go back and you can um, color in your notes. You're going to color this very similar to mine. If you don't have the colors, make sure the colors are near or close to what I have here. And remember to use your very best writing because you are going to need these uh, later on to refer back to. The information is important because you're going to need it in eighth grade for your star test. All right, so we're starting with balanced forces on the far left hand side. We're going to start with this box right here. The force, we already said, is a push or pull on an object. We measure force in Newtons, and it's represented by this capital letter N. Now, right underneath that, when forces are balanced, there is either, and there's two things here, there's either no motion or there is constant motion. All right, balanced forces do not cause change in motion. Now, what that means, guys, is if an object is moving, it's not going to stop. It's going to continue moving at a constant speed. Constant means the same. Or it's going to move in the same direction. It will not change. It will not go from left to right, up or down. It will continue. Same speed, same direction. But if it stopped, it will not start moving because it's balanced. We say then that the forces are equal. And it'll have a zero, that little line through it means it's a zero, not an O. Newtons, remember we said capital letter N. And looking at our picture here with the tug of war, we can see that these two little people are pulling and they're not budging right? They're not tilting either way, so it is equal. Remember to pause or rewind as needed. We're moving on to the center section now. So we're looking at here, forces, still, the very top, net force is the sum, think back to math, guys, the sum of all forces acting on an object. All right, now if you don't remember what the word sum means, that is the answer to an addition problem. That's the total you get when you combine them. Right underneath that with the little birthday cake. Here guys, We've seen arrows. Now in science, we don't call them arrows. We actually call these arrows vectors. Vector is V-E-C-T-O-R-S. Vectors show 
the direction of the force. All right. You've also got numbers that are here. The numbers show the amount of force, or the scientific word is the magnitude. How strong is that force? So you've got forces, remember, coming pushing down the cake, that is gravity pulling the cake down onto the table. But you've also got the table pushing against the cake. So you've got two Newtons going down and two Newtons going up. If we were to subtract them, as it says, when they're moving in opposite directions, we subtract two newtons minus two newtons equals zero newtons. We said earlier, if it's equal to zero newtons, then the forces are balanced. So it's not gonna fall, it's not gonna slide through the table. Now looking at these arm wrestlers here, clearly just looking at it, you've got this big muscle guy, playing this little bitty guy. And again, remember, moving in opposite directions, we're gonna subtract. So the vector of the little guy shows a magnitude of three Newtons to the right. And this big blue arrow, usually the one with uh, the, the vector that shows more magnitude, that strong magnitude will, or the stronger magnitude will have a bigger arrow, right? We subtract the smaller number from the larger number. So think about six Newtons minus three Newtons, and you get three Newtons. Now we said the correct answer would be three Newtons to the left, because we need to know what direction the object would move. All right, and with what magnitude? So three Newtons to the left. Remember to pause or stop the video if you need to. Now, looking at this, you would know it's also unbalanced because look at the answer. Three Newtons does not equal, or it's greater than, zero Newtons. That is another clue to tell you that the objects are unbalanced, the magnitude, the, the force. And we're moving on to the section underneath the two cows or the ox that are pulling the cart. Now, these ox are moving in the same direction, so we're going to add them. But if you notice the vectors, they're both going to the right. So since it's the same direction, we add them. Now it is unbalanced because look, this 14, you have eight Newtons, one ox is pulling with eight Newtons of magnitude or strength. The other is pulling six Newtons. So eight Newtons plus six Newtons equals 14 Newtons. 14 does not equal to zero. So this is unbalanced, all right? Remember to pause or stop the video if you need to. Now we're moving on to the top of the left corner. All right, that little box at the top reminds us that forces always occur in pairs. Because remember, you can have a force coming from the top, which is the gravity pulling it down, or it can be the object pushing off of something forces coming from the left, forces coming from the right, all right? And then you've also got diagonal. So it's always in pairs. Now under that box, 
because we're talking now about unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces can be in the same direction or in opposite directions. So you're going to put the blank in, and then we're going to go ahead and fill that in there. When forces, and this is right underneath, when forces are unbalanced, there is a change in motion. What that means, guys, the forces are not equal. When the, we're looking at a change in motion, guys, that can mean it can speed up, it can slow down, it can even stop. If the object is stopped, then it can start moving. Think about a roller coaster, the way it goes up and down, up and down, right? That's what we're looking at when we're talking about non or unbalanced forces. And remember, the, um, it will not equal to zero newtons. So an example would be this little puppy dog here. He's so excited he's running and he's got so much strength that he's pulling the little boy. This here is showing that the forces are unbalanced. All right, so just to kind of recap, force is a push or pull of an object that's measured in Newtons. Unbalanced forces, guys, are going to have uh, equal to be greater than zero. We don't call arrows arrows in science. We call them vectors, and they show direction of force. And unbalanced forces, we said unbalanced forces have numbers greater than zero. Balanced forces will equal directly to zero. All right, guys, enjoy the day. Don't forget to turn in your assignment.